Hello guys and welcome back. And I just wanted to give you a quick update on the theater. And as you can see, we finally put up a real screen for our projector. And it do, it's doing really good. Uh, it's a Pro Gray from Carl's Place uh, with the black felt tape. And total investment on it is $115 because it's... Uh, I think it was 85 for the material and 30 for the tape. But believe me, it's worth it because you get some much richer blacks and colors and the whites are just right, not overblown. And it's kind of a stiff material. So you pretty much just staple it to the wall and get it as tight as you can. There's no frame, so it's completely flat against the wall. And the border really makes the picture pop out. Really makes it look like it's um, well, a real theater screen. Yeah, very happy with it. We, we had to wait about nine months after moving to get one but glad we have it now and I'll show you some example footage here in a minute pretty much push the wall to its limit on screen size that's a hundred and twenty five inches and here's a little piece of furniture that we got from a neighbor for free that was just trying to get rid of furniture. And as you can see, I'm keeping my laser disc collection on it. So it's perfect for that. Plus some uh, PS4 games. And the PS4 itself, which the reason I had to pull it out of the closet is because um, I was having controller problems. Um, I don't have this problem with other consoles because the other consoles are in here, as you can see. Uh, but the controller signal was just not m making it through all the time. I guess because the PS4 controller has audio both back and forth going over the Bluetooth signal, and it would you'd end up losing control sometimes, and it would freak out, and people couldn't hear you talking, so it was bad. So I tried moving it up and up, and I just decided to move it out here because, you know, for one thing, it needs to be very cool. And for another thing, it gets much better signal here. And it looks pretty good. I don't mind it here. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much the main update from here. I think you've already seen my Laserdisc player and all this stuff. and my many wires, but many wires is what prompted me to put everything in a closet instead of the front of the room, so you don't have to look at them. And since I ran GTA on the CERT a few videos ago, I figured I'd run it on here too, just to show you what the screen is looking like. So as you can see, here's the uh, sofas for comparison. And there's the actual screen. So, of course, you can only see so much in a video, but the um, the colors are much better. The darks are darker. The whites aren't overblown. And all in all, very good. The only thing I would say is that uh, it's darker because, of course, it's gray. So it takes some of the brightness out of it. Uh, but that's pretty much fine with me because I actually like my screens darker rather than overblown bright. You know, like on my LED TV, I always turn the backlight pretty much all the way down. So just keep that in mind if you're planning on getting one of these. Uh, they suggest at least 1800 lumens for your projector, and that's what I have. But, you know, being right at the limit... It still works pretty good. Let me focus in real close here. 
think that's focused. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it uh, insightful into the uh, whole projector screen world. And it's really not bad for a uh, a total if you took this if you just bought the screen and the projector is around maybe six hundred and fifty dollars, let's say, for the the projector screen and the projector and mount. And that's a much bigger and uh, more fun way to watch video, I'd say, than any uh, flat screen TV. So I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, see you later.